The next mode of ventilation I'd like to talk about in RESP 220 is the mode of volume control IMV. So VC IMV. What's particularly special about this mode and what differentiates it from volume control CMV is that intermittently the patient is allowed a spontaneous unassisted breath. In this mode, unlike CMV, the patient can take unsupported spontaneous breaths in between the mandatory ventilator breaths. So this is a mode that allows the ventilator to give some assistance as directed by us for a particular rate, tidal volume, at a specific flow rate, just like in volume control mode. But in between those breaths, the patient is allowed to breathe without any assistance from the ventilator. You're going to learn later that we can assist those spontaneous breaths using other adjuncts of this mode. But in its most purest form, it's called volume control IMV. Now it's synchronized the patient's efforts. So if the patient is breathing along, just like this, every five seconds or so, the ventilator will realize that, hey, it's time to give a mandatory breath. If the patient's spontaneously breathing, it'll be an assisted breath, but it'll only give the number of assisted breaths as we've set on the ventilator. So unlike CMV, where you could have as many mandatory and assisted breaths as the patient was breathing. So if you're breathing at a rate of 16, they'd get 16 ventilated breaths. In this mode, if we set the rate at 12, they're only going to get 12 ventilator assisted breaths. All the other breaths that they initiate on their own will be unassisted. So that's a huge difference because in this mode, the patient is going to be doing some of the work of breathing. We're going to set up a minimal amount of mandatory ventilation. So that's why it's known as volume control, intermittent, mandatory ventilation. The waveforms are almost identical, except for the unassisted breaths, where the patient is spontaneously breathing on their own. All other aspects of this mode are very similar to volume control in that it can be time-triggered or patient-triggered due to an inspiratory flow. It's volume-cycled for the mandatory breaths, and it's flow limited during the breath, during the mandatory breaths. Now the spontaneous breaths receive no assistance whatsoever. The ventilator just maintains a baseline pressure for the patient to breathe in and out. All right. So the mandatory breaths, the ventilator assisted ones, can be time triggered or assisted with patient triggering due to flow or pressure. It's going to be flow limited and volume cycle. The spontaneous unassisted breaths will receive no ventilatory assistance. So that's really the differences between those two. There's no difference in the waveforms.